Okinawa is well known for its stunning beaches. In fact, in 2018, tourism arrivals in Okinawa overtook those in Hawaii for the first time. It has been slow to recover the last couple years, as most Asian countries have. But with Japan finally lifting its tourism ban, Okinawa is ready to host tourism again on a larger scale. The question is, should you visit Okinawa and what should you do while you are here? I hope to answer these questions in this and in future videos. One thing is for sure, you cannot visit Okinawa without visiting the beaches. Here is my list for the top 5 beaches of central Okinawa. Zampa Beach is great for families. Because of its gently sloping coastline and protection from the surf, the beach is safe for young kids at any tide. Snorkeling isn't allowed here, as it's a paid beach, but there is plenty to do in and around the area. It is one of the more expensive beaches, but if you are visiting and don't have chairs or umbrellas of your own, you can rent them here. I usually don't go to paid beaches because I do have my own umbrellas and chairs, and they will charge you for using your own the same as if you use theirs. But I can make an exception for a few of them, like this one. Check out the park, petting zoo, and lighthouse that are close by as well, as well as the biggest Shisa dragon on the island. Cape Maeda is world famous for snorkeling. The popular Blue Cave is located here, which I will show you more of in a future video of the best snorkeling spots on Okinawa. For now, I want to talk about the beaches. Each beach has its own name, with Beach 51 being the most popular, but I just refer to them as the Maeda beaches. It's an intimate spot where you can seclude yourself to one area as each beach is walled off from the next. The sunset is about as good as it gets here. Better in the summertime, in your own sectioned off area. EK Beach is another paid beach, but is a bit different and cheaper than Zampa. It's on EK Island, the furthest you can drive off the main island. It's a very remote area, but it's worth the trip. It's on the eastern side of Okinawa, but is a western facing beach, so you can get a nice sunset if you stay long enough. There are water sports to rent, just like most paid beaches. You can choose from Japanese style dishes or American fast food. For the Japanese restaurant, just make your purchase of the vending machine and give the cooks your ticket. For the other restaurant, you can enjoy classic American dishes like cheeseburgers, hot dogs, and fried octopus. Don't forget to get a side of Carly fries with your order. If you want the feeling of a California beach on Okinawa, then Araha Beach is the place to be. It feels like Huntington Beach, as many locals and non-locals alike play volleyball, basketball, jog, or ride their bike, or just relax and enjoy the view. Yeah. 
You can surf or paddleboard close by, depending on what Mother Nature has to offer that day, just not around the main beach area. There are restaurants and bars close by, and areas for families with children. The old pirate ship was recently replaced with an upgraded version that is the dream of any adventurous child. The last beach on my list is Melody Beach. This is one that is the opposite of Raha Beach. It is a little more unknown, but if you want the feel of a hidden beach without going too far, this one is for you. Close by, there is the Yomitan Gala, with restaurants, pottery, and glass making classes. Or Murasaki Mura, an old traditional Japanese film set that now hosts some great activities as well. But the beach is so nice, and the waves are usually bigger here. So it's a great place to spend the whole day and bodyboard into the sunset. There are so many beaches to choose from that I'm already planning a second addition to the best beaches of central and northern Okinawa. But first, I want to cover the beaches to the south and the many outlying islands that are considered Okinawa that you have to ferry or fly to. I hope you enjoyed these ones and look forward as there are more to come. <laughs>